in every magnet there are two poles a north pole and a south pole opposite poles attract and light poles repel every magnet has a magnetic field around it now we will see the shape of the magnetic field around this bar magnet using iron filings suspended in liquid by placing the iron filings over the permanent magnet these randomly distributed iron filings will align with the magnetic field lines thus revealing the shape of the field we've just seen a few of the many ways in which we use magnets but what are the properties that make them so useful to us let's take a look Not all materials are magnetic. An object that retains its magnetism is called a permanent magnet. Iron, nickel, and cobalt are the most common magnetic materials. Through research, we have discovered new magnetic materials, such as the neodymium magnet. This is different from what we think of as a typical magnet. A neodymium magnet is really an alloy composed of neodymium, iron, and boron, and is currently believed to be the most powerful magnets on Earth. It used to be that to get rich sound from your music, you'd have to buy huge headphones like these. But now, we can get the same sound from tiny earbuds like these. Well, I don't really care what people say. I don't really watch what them want to do. Still, I got to stick to my girls like glue and I'm not